Hi everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, me, Bruce, and Jeff travel to Kennecook, Nova Scotia to attend a rally put on by the Fundy ATV Club. It was pretty impressive to see how many people showed up for the event. There were hundreds of people out enjoying the rally, which was over 100 kilometers or over 60 miles. I'd like to thank the Kennecook Fire Department for allowing the ATV Club to use their property to park all those vehicles and to allow their fire hall to be used as a registration station. I've attended this rally a few times in previous years and they used to promote these as mud rallies and they had a few optional muddy sections with deep water that were always really fun to ride through that would test your machine's abilities. Those sections were totally optional and you could skip them if you weren't interested in that type of riding. There was at least one of those sections open this year but sadly my favorite section with deep water which I highlighted in previous videos was closed off and inaccessible this year. To say I was disappointed is an understatement. I was talking to a few others that mentioned they were also disappointed and they had actually watched my videos the night before the rally and they were hoping to ride through that section as well. And the majority of the rally this year had very good condition uh, roads like this, fire roads, some woods roads, and uh, there were also some technical trails where you had to have some skill to get through and you'll see those later in the video. This event must have been sponsored by Can-Am in part. Every other machine was a Can-Am. I started noticing recently my machine was making kind of a squealing sound and it was kind of hard to tell where it was coming from. Sometimes it sounded like it was coming from uh, the middle of the machine or the back of the machine and as the day went on here it started to get worse and worse and uh, I pulled over and stopped and we put the dump box and we opened it up and uh, Bruce and I were taking a look in there and it turns out my U-joint in the back towards the rear differential was shot. It, you could tell when you started moving the machine a tiny bit you could see like uh, snapping in the uh, in the U-joint unfortunately so uh, I made it only partially through this rally and then what I decided to do was to take the machine and bring it back to my truck and then I uh, rode the rest of the rally afterwards in Bruce's machine because I didn't want to end up having a breakdown out on the trail. I haven't had to replace any U-joints on the machine yet, so I guess I'm not doing too, too bad. Um, the machine has 14,000 kilometers on it. <laughs> this section of trail here is much steeper than it looks. This trail here was a little muddy, as you can see, and uh, one of the things I find about the Kennet Cook area is that their mud out there is, uh, it's almost like clay. So when you're driving along and you get this mud on your machine, it dries really, really hard. Um, and I find if it gets on your radiator, I've been here before where my machine overheated because it, there's just so much mud that gets caked into your into your rad uh, and this actually happened to me later on in the day and unfortunately it figured just when you want a puddle to drive through or something like that you couldn't find one and my machine went into limp mode uh, at one point and I saw a few other people uh, looking for little brooks and streams to try to find some water to get on their radiators. I was really surprised that despite the fact that there was hundreds of machines out there, there was only a few times like this particular section where we ran into a few other machines out on the trails. Uh, for the most part, it was our group of three driving around together and every now and then we'd uh, come across another group of people that were kind of stopped on the side of the road or a trail for a break and you know we would do the same now and then but really you didn't come across a lot of other people very often. I guess it's probably because the trail uh, or the rally route was spread out over a hundred kilometers. Metal ones? That's not a bad idea. This is the point in the day where I backtracked and went back to my truck to drop off uh, my commander because of the U-joint problem. And uh, as I'm coming through here, you can, you can see how many trucks and trailers were in here. 
And uh, this is just one yard or one section where there was trucks and trailers. There's also another one. Now I'm riding shotgun in Bruce's Commander, and he has a 2015 Commander like mine. Um, his is an XDP model, mine is the XT, so he has the upgraded uh, shocks on his, and he has the beadlock wheels. And um, his machine, it's got 25,000 kilometers on it, and it's still running great. Just after we dropped off my commander, um, we were on our way back through the rally and we found this guy on the side of the trail here uh, with a flat tire. So he borrowed uh, Jeff's air compressor to fill his tire back up so that would get him back to his truck. And uh, we were talking to him for a minute and he was uh, telling us that he's seen our videos before on YouTube and uh, it was nice. It was uh, it's nice to run into somebody who sees your videos. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> He had a brand new Maverick with only a few hundred kilometers on it. And shortly after we got back on the trail, um, there was a, an accident that we came across. There were some emergency vehicles there. I'm not quite sure what happened here, but uh, uh, from what I heard later, I don't think there was too many uh, serious injuries involved, and I was really uh, glad to hear that. I missed it. Huh? Oh. I missed it all. That would have been good. I remember the line, Bruce. When we got to this section, we came across a group of guys that were stopped and they were just watching uh, people come through this mud hole like this. And uh, we got to talking to them for a few minutes and it turns out they have done the Newfoundland trip a few times based on the videos they've seen on my website and my YouTube channel. At the end of the day, when I was getting ready to leave, I noticed someone had put a note under the windshield of my truck and I read it. And it was uh, people that were parked next to me left me a note to tell me that they watch all my YouTube videos and uh, they recognized Moosey on the top of the uh, side by side when we were parking earlier. I thought that was really nice, so thank you to the people who left the note. Earlier in the video, I mentioned about my favorite water hole that um, you're not allowed to use anymore on this rally. So uh, I brought my drone hoping that I was going to see dozens of people going through there and I wanted to get a really cool aerial shot of all those machines going through there. But unfortunately, I, uh, I couldn't do that this year. But I did bring the drone still and uh, so I did put it up in the air and get a few really nice shots of valleys below and some of the really nice uh, colorful fall leaves.
Whoa, that's one lucky bird. It almost ended up in the cab with us. Thank you for following along on another adventure. If you like this video, please click the like button and consider clicking the subscribe button if you haven't already. It would help me out a lot. Thanks a lot and stay safe, everyone.